evolved from the ant-like ancestors in the mid-Cretaceous times between 110 to 130 million years ago. More than 12,500 out of 22,000 have been classified. They're easily identified by their elbowed antenna and distinctive node-like structure that forms a slender waist. Ants live in a nest underground beyond the shallow dirt about 15 feet deep. They're stronger and work harder than you think. From an eagle's eye point of view, the nest looks more like a pile of dirt than a territory filled with a bunch of bipolar ants. But don't let that trick you, because right underground below your prejudiced feet is life, colonies in which ants live in. In fact, many are misled about the queen ant. She's not a ruler, she's just an important member. She works her little joints off to lay as many eggs for the rest of her 10-30 to 30 year life. Only the queen and most ant species can reproduce. Ants are smart and organized. They carry dead ants from the outside to the inside. They have a chamber for a room for food and nursery room for the babies in training and finally a resting area. The average worker ant lives only two to three weeks, but since new ones are being produced and trained every day, the colony sustains itself quite well. Ants have no problem living with each other, no mix-ups nor disorders. They live an extremely well-planned life, where the only sin is obeying. Some ant families do tailoring and others grow their own food like farmers. And yet others run small farms where they raise smaller animals. In the same way humans breed cows and use their milk, ants breed small plant lice and use their milk as well. Ants are brilliant creators and incredibly beneficial to all mankind.